The other question I've had in the past is, we see some color palettes available. These color palettes are available per the if or the rule. So what that means is this channel one beta amplitude is gonna be represented by a line that happens to be white. If we wanted to change the color of that line, we would simply click the arrow and we can choose a color out of the palette. We're gonna go ahead and leave it white for now. We notice in the rule where it says is greater than channel one beta threshold, that the color we're choosing for that, which would be the threshold, is a green. And again, we could adjust that color if we chose. Now at this point, we have our theta down and our beta up. And you notice we're using organ for the beta. Let's go ahead and put a guard band on high beta. So as I slide up to event number three, again, I'm gonna go channel one. This is going to be high beta. Amplitude is, and since it's a down train, we want less than channel one high beta threshold. But this time, instead of playing a MIDI sound, I'm going to say inhibit event sounds under the then. As we zoom in, we see then inhibit event sounds. So if their high beta goes above threshold, all sounds will stop. So this acts as a guard band. At that point, we do not need to worry about which MIDI tone is in the box because the result is inhibit sounds, not play a tone. Okay, we notice the event is enabled. We could also have it disabled, but for now we want it enabled. As we slide down the page, we're going to go to a button called Show All Events. Let's make sure nothing else is turned on that we're unaware of. Okay. As I look in the list, I see, oh, well, wait a second. I see Event 4 is currently enabled and Event 5 is enabled. So we want to go, okay, we don't want that. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to go up to Event 4 up at the top, scroll to the side, and put disabled. Okay, as I go back I want to go to event 5 and go disabled. Okay, at that point we're ready to see the um, protocol in action so I'm going to hit OK. We have to save these changes by clicking again use these settings. Okay, we'll simply then go run the next session. We'll go up to go. Okay. And we see a serial number 3004 does not match the 3009. The reason being is because I do not have that exact Atlantis plugged in. So let me go OK. I'm going to close the training screen. For any of you with multiple Brain Masters, you probably run into that quite often. Now we're going to go back to viewer change settings. This time I'm just going to go to session control because I just want to show you a simulation. I can simply highlight simulation, hit OK, then use these settings, run the next session, and go again. This time you're going to notice we have a dialog box that says simulations running. So I can hit OK. Okay, I then want to maximize my training screen. Okay, and I have to go up to the display and decide to look at my trends. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the FFT. And for now I'm even going to turn off the thermometer. Okay, I'm going to go back to display and go trends events because we just set up three different events. Okay. So now what's happening as I look at the events, we'll go ahead and zoom in on these three boxes and it's going to give us a summary of event number one, event number two, and event number three. Okay. 
what's happening is as the criteria is met, for instance, for event number one, we hear one particular tone. As the event number two is met, we hear a second tone. And then as we hit number three, we hear a third. Okay. Okay. When the third event crosses threshold, what happens there is it in inhibits the sounds. Okay. And there we've made a very simple program in the event wizard using three events, using two different instruments, and an inhibit. So as you can see, you can use it for a very simple protocol that just gives you a little more sound feedback flexibility. And then also all the way to an advanced topic, which Dr. Clura will go over later with the event wizard, to do anything from percent energy to ratio to variability, to some of the other advanced techniques now available in neurotherapy. Thank you.